continue our progressive reading of Evangelia Gaudium, the joy of the Gospel by Pope Francis, his apostolic exhortation on the proclamation of the Gospel in today's world. Chapter 4, A Mission Embodied Within Human Limits, Paragraph 44. Moreover, pastors and the lay faithful who accompany their brothers and sisters in faith or on a journey of openness to God must always remember what the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches quite clearly. Imputability and responsibility for an action can be diminished or even nullified by ignorance, inadvertence, duress, fear, habit, inordinate attachments, and other psychological or social factors. Consequently, without detracting from the evangelical ideal, they need to accompany with mercy and patience the eventual stages of personal growth as these progressively occur. I want to remind priests that the confessional must not be a torture chamber, but rather an encounter with the Lord's mercy which spurs us on to do our best. A small step in the midst of great human limitations can be more pleasing to God than a life which appears outwardly in order but moves through the day without confronting great difficulties. Everyone needs to be touched by the comfort and attraction of God's saving love, which is mysteriously at work in each person above and beyond their faults and failings. When we see that the task of evangelization operates within the limits of language, and of circumstances, it constantly seeks to communicate more effectively the truth of the Gospel in a specific context, without renouncing the truth, the goodness and the light which can bring whenever perfection is not possible. A missionary heart is aware of these limits and makes itself weak with the weak everything for everyone. It never closes itself off, never retreats into his, its own sanctuary security, never opts for rigidity and defensiveness. It realizes that it has to grow in its own understanding of the Gospel and in discerning the paths of the Spirit, and so it always does what good can it can even if, in the process, its shoes get soiled by the mud of the street. What the Pope says in its spirit absolutely corresponds with, gospel, with Mark's Gospel, chapter 2, 23, 28, how Jesus was merciful with his disciples when they were hungry and let them eat the heads of corns on Sabbath day. This is the reality of the Gospel based on God's merciful love. And what we read from Evangelii Gaudium, these uh, paragraphs 44 and 45, it's worth rereading because this is also, again, about the realism of Christian life. We can sense and feel our limits in the light of grace, that our will is not strong enough, our perseverance is not tenacious enough, that our law has its ups and downs, it quite often fails. But we can see that this is the reality of the, of the soil. 
it's uh, the fields which we cultivate, particularly on a rainy, muddy day, it's not beautiful in itself, but it's beautiful because of its potential life. So, when we receive the Holy Communion, and when we are participating in the Eucharist, just uh, as it were, let us take a slow, deep breath, or slow, deep breaths, and just to accept the reality of our body, the reality of the fragility of our psyche, that these are we in our limitations, and the small steps which God offers, it will reward us with the sense of the whole, that toiling, letting God work on us, cooperate, cooperating with the Holy Spirit, it, uh, it brings to fruition our small, banal steps in life. And reading uh, Gaudium Evangelii, uh, Evangelii Gaudium uh, is just highlights that it is good to be a Christian. It is good to belong to Christ despite and through our difficulties and joys.